that's just I feel like that's the way we should have been playing all season, and we knew we could play like that. Um, and just happened to be against our, our biggest one of our biggest rivals, so it was, it's a good feeling just going in next week and, and can't really you know harp on it too much, but just using this motivation to keep getting better. What do you take away as a defense when you look back at that game? You can't go backwards. I mean, we played our butts off. Everybody was getting to the ball, um, doing their jobs, doing the, doing their assignments. It was very few busts, busted coverages, and just the game plan was simple. Just guard your man and be the man in front of you. Was that the difference, I guess, in, in that game compared to maybe a UNC or a Louisville? Yeah, just knowing everybody, I felt like everybody knew what they were supposed to do. It was no, you know, second guess anything. If it, even if it was, it was people going full speed and just the effort of everybody else around us making up for the mistakes. You're shutting down your side pretty well, so that's giving the other side some, a lot more throws. So McFadden being able yeah. to, to pick off the ball four times already this season. Is there anything special, I mean, to, to be able to pick off the ball that many times? No, I just mean he's doing his job, uh, guarding his man, getting his face and getting his head around him, playing the ball. It's not nothing really special. Um, and as you prepare for Wake Forest, I guess it's early in the week, but I guess what stands out to you about their offense. Oh, they go they go up tempo like a lot of the teams we play. Uh, they like the speed of the pace. They got good receivers. They got a you know good quarterback, good running back, good line. And they uh, coming in five and one. They're they're a great team, man. So uh, just got to prepare for them and respect them. With up tempo teams, I mean, that means you have to get back to the line quickly. I, I guess what's what's important when you have to do something like that? Executing when you're tired. I feel like that's the biggest thing. That's one of the things that we fail to do uh, all the time against our tempo teams. Just execute when you're tired and just being able to remember your side, man, where you gotta where you gotta be on the field and just make the plays without having penalties. And Jimbo last week before you guys played Miami was talking about the nineteen eighty nine team. Do you remember that conversation that he had with you guys? Uh he talked about it a lot. He talked about the, a lot of all the teams or the, uh, the teams, the great teams that won the championships and how they got to where they at. So yeah, he, I remember a little bit about it. What, I mean, when he says stuff like that, I mean, does that resonate with you guys when he talks about older teams? Yeah, it does. I mean, that's just the way we supposed to play. Uh, just like them, man, playing our butts off for the for the spear on our helmet, for the names on our backs and for our, for our brothers. So yeah, it does. I guess what stands out, if you can remember back to the, the – I know he brings up a lot of old teams, but yeah. the, the 89 team, what sticks out to you about them losing the first two games and going 10-2? and two? I mean, that just shows the fight in them uh, that they had. They, they want to go, you know, they want to go settle for being average. Uh, they realize they dropped two games early in the season, but they can control everything else that happened to them. And that's kind of what we're taking away from them.